Hey guys, welcome back to a new After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to create this gradient sunburst animation. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's start with a new composition and I will go with these settings as always and I'm gonna call this gradient sunburst animation and let's hit ok now we need to press add our ellipse so let's go to toolbar and go here and select the ellipse tool we don't need any fill click this none option and hit ok we only need a stroke so let's give a gradient stroke and here i will select this radial gradient option ok with these settings hit ok now let's uh, go with a 20 pixel we can change it later so let's uh, draw a uh, ellipse like this now press ctrl alt home on your keyboard to reset the anchor point and uh, now go to align tool and align it to the middle if you don't see any align tool you can find it here now let's open this ellipse one option and here i will increase the stroke width something like this now go to ellipse path one and increase the size of this ellipse i will go with something like this and let's also increase the Let's give the stroke width around something 1300. Let's also give this uh, size to 1300. So it will be the same. Now go to a uh, dashes and click this plus icon. It will add a lot of dash. We don't need this much. So let's increase this dash amount. I will go with something around here. Now we can uh, edit the gradient, uh, we can add different colors for this tutorial. I will go with this nice UI gradient side and I will choose this Lipisa Sunset uh, color palette. So let's click this one and let's copy. You guys can uh, choose different color palette if you want. I will go with this one. Now uh, select this selection tool and here we can get this gradient slider and we can play with the gradient radius i will use this radius for this tutorial as you can see it looks pretty cool now we can also animate this so let's press let's rename this as sunburst now press r on your keyboard it will bring the rotation properties so let's go to zero second and create a keyframe now go to end of the comb and i will set this to maybe 180 now if you want to add a trail effect we can add a new adjustment layer here and i will call this effects now go to windows and effect and preset and search for trail effect and i will use this trail effect let's increase the angle and also trail radius as you can see we have this black cutout we can fix this by using a transform effect so go to effect and pieces search for transform and i will double click now let's increase the scale as you can see it's fixed now we have this blurriness we can fix this by adding a curve effect so let's add a curve and i will double click now set this uh, channel to alpha and we can increase the alpha like this as you can see to get that uh, hard edge if you don't want this you can just disable it i will stick with this one you can also add, add a background add a solid right click solid and i will call this bg and you can go with something like gray color or any color you want looks pretty cool and that's basically it and i hope you guys learned something new in this tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you so much for the pretty supporters and i will see you guys in the next one with the new tutorial have a great day peace